I was definitely wrong about that. So, yeah, just uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. I think they did take away down tilt up B, right? That was a yeah. really... That, they changed like... That's a, that's a big hit. <laughs> that was essentially his best thing in Smash They, forward. like, buff his air, like, recovery and all that stuff, but they didn't, like... Um, Keep his onstage stuff. Yeah. Which is, like... Because that was the crazy thing about Mac. You could, like, roll around, run around, fish for down tilt. It's like, oh, I hit. Yeah, his tilts were, like, fast. Like, everything yeah. was great about the character, but, like, they nerf, like, all that stuff and just made him more viable in the air, which is, I mean, it's cool, but, like, they should have kept, like, all this, like, <laughs> other stuff in Smash 4, you know? All right, so definitely a matchup Metal Rift's going to be familiar with. It's probably going to play kind of the same um, in, as, as it did in Smash 4. Dude, it's crazy. Like, every time Mac hits with a smash attack, there's, like, the little zoom in. Yeah, like yeah. that. That's hype. Yeah, that is, that, that is hype. I wonder if you could do up tilt to up B. Oh, oh, and oh. yeah, that's, uh, so in Smash 4, oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. what, were you dying up, buddy, or what's that, going on? That was a spaceship DI, dude. He, he, wanted, to, he wanted to go up <laughs> into space, bro. Like, just went straight up. Dude, that was actually bananas. But, uh, yeah. Metal Rift with such a huge lead. And doesn't KO Punch, like, hit in the air now? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he, like, went up into the air. <laughs> he actually, like, that was crazy. He did, like, those, like, um, 80s, like, 90s, like, <laughs> when they jump and, like, they say, like, yeah and stuff, like, yeah. they freeze. That's what they went, like, to. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And right now, SKNK is kind of getting bopped right now yeah. from Metal Rift. Ooh, the oh, the grab. Oh, don't DI in? Wow, I'm surprised Metal Rift didn't up B. When that, because that was the thing in Smash 4, too. Yeah. Oh, Metal Rift running the double jump. And directional air dodge definitely going to help Little Mac recover in this game. Going to give him a little bit more uh, mix ups when he gets by the ledge. Yeah, what's, what's Metal Rift called, yeah. definitely showing off the, uh, the dashes as well. He did this before. Uh, so when Fox does side B, right? Yeah. Uh, when you're shooting, he doesn't go past you in, like in the other games before. So, like. If you're like Edge Grind Fox and like mix him up and stuff and like he's gonna side you on stage, like you can actually shield side B and then you can actually hit him from it. So like you can do if you're Luigi, hold shield and then just up B, low mag, just like KO punch, you know, get a free damage in there. Does Max still have down tilt KO punch? I'm not sure. He he did try it against um Oh you're dead. He did try it against like uh, the Fox, but I feel like Metal Rift should have like directional air dodge earlier. Like, if you're ever going to directional air dodge just for, like, recovery distance, that should be, like, the first thing you should do. Especially against Fox, because he's not going to, like, go super go out there. Yeah, he's not going to go out there, unless, like, he sees, he sees like, oh, okay. the freeze frames. Oh, the talent smash looked like it was going to connect. Okay, like, yeah, throw. base. Trying to two-frame with up smash. <laughs> I like it. Down smash, but SKNK going high. Oh, maybe get something started here with right, Fox. Here we go. We Fox, all know. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh. Fox got those crazy combos. Does Uppy even, like, kill or what? Because he hasn't, like, done it yet. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it still would. Oh, down smash, not going to catch that. Oh, this shield pressure. Dude, but he's like, got him off stage. The screen, like, shakes and, like, hits the ground. Like, yeah. Hits something. Even, like, oh, oh got... even period. <laughs> oh, okay. That forward throw should be it. But, yeah, I feel Metal Rift still kind of not used to the uh, not cross-up. Uh, when you shield Fox Illusion now, he, uh, he stops at your shield. Yeah. That move does not cross up anymore. Um, well deserved nerf. Uh, it was it was pretty darn strong. Pretty darn strong. All right. So, Metal Rift. I mean, I don't expect him to switch switch up any characters anytime soon. Uh, I'm gonna stick out with the Mac. But I wonder if SKNK is gonna switch it up. Go with any other characters. Okay, <laughs> looks like he's gonna go to Marth. Marth, very. I feel like Marth can be really strong. You have the sword. It's like, oh, little Max swinging. Yo, what up, J Ribs? J Ribs, you wanna? Do you wanna Ribs? Do you wanna hop on or no? Right. I don't, yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, man. Good commentary with good old elegant. What is up, Sir J Ribs? How you doing, Green? Doing good, man. So right now we got Metal Rift rocking the uh, Little Mac versus SKNK. Um, he went Fox game one. Now he's trying out the Marth. 
I, I like the Switch, Marth. Definitely a character where you can kind of like try to not deal with Little Mac's uh, really good ground game. Yeah, but this Little Mac is serious. I don't know if you guys have already <laughs> noticed, but he's no joke. I lost to him last week. and uh, Yeah, he's good. he's good. He's very good. I believe he placed 9th out of 112 or whatever it was last week. So wow, definitely a strong Little Mac. Yeah. Little Mac made through, um, throughout all of Smash 4 as well. So uh, definitely a character that has gotten buffed. I personally thought uh, Little Mac was going to be stronger in terms of result-wise. You know oh. what I mean? OK. Um, it's only been a week, bro. But yeah, it has been a week. But like like at MSM, like the last two MSMs, I haven't seen any Little Mac's top 16. But like Chazo with DDD has been, top, you know what I mean, top 24, right. both MSMs. But yeah, I, I, it's, it's definitely interesting because they took some of his like really consistent stuff away. Like uh, he used to be able to down tilt up B in Smash Four. Okay, 4. yeah, I remember. Um, they don't. He doesn't have that anymore. But his recovery got a lot better. Directional yes. air dodge, side B, and up B at the same time. Uh -huh. So I feel like they kind of like evened him out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And naturally, the the engine of the game is going to be great for him, tilting out of sprint and yes. all that stuff. And honestly, parrying with Little Mac is definitely going to be the meta. And uh, I was actually talking to Riff last week, and he was he was practicing a lot of that, and uh, getting his up tilt out of parry, and just being patient. And then when it's time, just armoring through stuff. But a beautiful Nair one is a tipper forward smash. Good yeah. stuff from Stink. And yeah, Nair one is an imagination man. Like <laughs> that, that's still a thing. <laughs> it's been like a, it's been a thing forever, and it, it's it's always just a really solid confirm. For sure. Man, and these smash it, it's so brutal too when uh when Mac like lands one of the hits, like you can be at zero and like the screen like freezes a little bit. Oh yeah, the, the aesthetics of this game is just beautiful. I love it. And that was an angled angled upwards forward smash, I yep. believe, yep. taking that second stock. That and now Metal the, Rift uh, threatening this 2-0 here. Yeah, that is the strongest variant of the uh forward smash. And it catches a lot of people off guard because they see uh they see the forward smash, so they hold they try to vector, ah. which is like horrible because we, we saw um, SKNK like pretty much goes straight up. Yeah. So, so it's probably a DI mix up yeah, there DI for mix up. sure. Yeah. Okay, the upper, but the KO punches online. Can Metal Rift land? Ooh, with the sink counter. Oh, and he tried to read right there that he was going to come straight down, but smart SKNK going for the ledge. I really like what they did. Oh, no. Nice that's, footstool. That's. that's that, I mean, no disrespect, but probably not intentional. Yeah, <laughs> I got, I just got footstooled by Falco, and he said it was unintentional. Mid, mid set. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that can be a tilter. But Ooh, who knows? Maybe this guy's watching Mr. E. We all know Mr. E loves that footstooled mark. Oh yes, he he's so good at getting them. But like, for sure, I can usually tell with Mr. E like intentionally does it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's almost always intentional with yeah. that guy. Yeah. All right, with. I mean, pretty much even, and I really like what they did with KO Punch in this game, too. You can't hold on to it forever, but, like, it has a lot less lag. Nice patience there from Riff. Going to get that down smash to punish the whiff counter. Yeah. And it was I mean, short but sweet, but I'm actually next up on stream, so you're going to have oh, to nice. find another co-commentator. <laughs> All right, well, you can jump on the mic after. Sure. But it, was, it was fun commentating with you, but, All right. hey, man, he, he came in with the counter. That was a pretty confident counter there, and Metal yeah. Riff was not about it. Riff just, is just too patient for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, with Little Mac, you have to be. You know, it, it, one wrong move, you're off stage. You can lose your stock at zero. You, yeah. you, you have to be. The risk reward with this character has to be very spot on. Exactly. And uh, Rift showing some great Little Mac play, and hopefully he can continue to do his thing in, uh, in SoCal here. Like I said, ninth place last Wednesday night fights, which is very impressive. Yeah, considering and, uh, how stacked uh, these Wednesday night fights are, and yeah. like we we capped out tonight, so. Okay, cool. It, and what's the wait? What's the cap? 128. 128. Wow. Yeah. Smash Ultimate, man, bringing out all the gamers here in SoCal. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's just every Wednesday night. I, I wish we could uh, have more, but I hope right. good luck in your match. Thank you so much. I'm going to need it. Ness versus Ike is rough, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with those swords, man. <laughs> all right, so good luck to Ribs here. Gonna, uh, I, I did talk to him a little bit before the tournament, and Ribs did say he was going to go all Ness today. Uh, definitely feels like the character is really good, really underrated. Wants to show the world what he can do. I mean, he definitely does have other characters as well. Um, we could possibly see those as well. But uh, J-Ribs was a Ness main pretty much uh, throughout all of Smash 4 when he did compete in it um, during the earlier, like, first two years, two, three years. But, yeah, fun fact about J-Ribs, he is the, uh, he's also multi, he has been um, the world champion for Gears of War multiple times. I I'm not sure how many times, but definitely multiple times. Um, part of uh, Ghost Gaming, very talented FPS player. Um, also played a lot of competitive Smash in the uh, early meta of 
Smash 4. He was one of the top Nesses uh, coming from the tri-state area. Now he lives in SoCal because of uh, Ghost Gaming is located in SoCal. So yeah, uh, towards the end of the uh, Smash 4 scene, he would come out to some locals here and there, and he was super pumped for Ultimate. So now he's uh, still living in SoCal, of course, still with Ghost Gaming, and now he's coming out to all these SoCal events, and he wants to really, you know, give Ultimate a try. So he's out here grinding the grind. The grind is always good here in SoCal. All right, so his opponent, I believe he said, uh, plays Ike, and he does not like the Ike match. I, I, I feel like generally uh, Swords are going to give Ness a run for his money. Ness is a character that is uh, amazing when it comes 